If you build a table with drop leaves, as I've done for the June 2019 issue of Woodworker's Journal, you're going to have to learn how to install these drop leaf hinges. They're the only style of hinges that'll make these two drop leaves work correctly. Now I use Rockler's drop leaf hinges and I installed them with this shop made routing template. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. But before I do that, I want to point out this document from Rockler that made the hinge installation process much easier. It covers some good general pointers about drop leaf hinges and Rockler's hardware in particular. So print this out and read it carefully. It sure helped me. To find it, go to rockler.com and do a search for drop leaf hinges for shaped edges. Scroll down to technical documents and click on Table Hinge Installation Instructions. And if you want to learn how to cut rule joints for drop leaves using router bits, I've made a separate video that covers that process. And you can watch it by going to woodworkersjournal.com and doing a search for routing rule joints. Now drop leaf hinges are different from regular butt hinges in a couple of ways. So let's take a closer look. First, the hinge leaves are two different lengths. The shorter leaf attaches to the tabletop center panel, and this longer hinge leaf attaches to the drop leaf panels. And that configuration enables these rule joints to rotate past one another. Now another difference is, you need to mount these hinges with this knuckle facing inward like this, rather than outward. So installing these hinges is actually a two-step process mortising for the hinge leaves, and cutting a deeper mortise for this knuckle. Now I was able to take care of both of those mortising steps using this half-inch plywood template, a compact router, and a couple of different bit setups. And we'll go through that whole process. Now my template's pretty straightforward. It just has a cutout in it that matches the size of the hinge exactly. And you can remove that waste however you like. I routed out most of it and then cleaned up the edges with a chisel. But the tricky part, with or without a template, is figuring out where these hinge mortises need to be located relative to the center panel and the drop leaves so these rule joints can rotate correctly. But Rockler's downloadable specs sheet for the hinges, as well as these test pieces I made for the hinge joints, helped me figure that out pretty easily. Now for me, the critical dimension was this. And for lack of a better term, I'm going to call it the setback. It's the back edge of the hinge mortise on the center panel side of the tabletop. Not the drop leaf side, but the center panel side. For Rockler's drop leaf hinges, this setback distance is an inch and seven eighths from the ruled edge of the center panel. So I marked that setback as well as the seam between the center panel side of the tabletop and the drop leaf side. I also marked the setback on my actual tabletop center panel, then I clamped the drop leaves and the center panel together. And once I determined the spacing I wanted between the hinges, I aligned the template cutout to my setback line and mounted it with strips of double-sided carpet tape. The tape's bond is plenty strong enough for this routing operation, so there's no need for extra clamps. And the bit I used for routing these hinge leaf mortises is this short piloted spiral bit from Freud. I use this bit most often for routing hinge leaf mortises and it sure is handy. I set the bit's cutting depth to the thickness of the template plus the thickness of the hinge leaf. Then I routed out the hinge leaf mortises and squared up their corners with a chisel. So that's it for the hinge leaf mortises. But remember, at this stage we're only half done. Now we need to route this deeper mortise for the hinge knuckle. And here's how I did that. I made this little knuckle spacer block. It fits down inside the template and it locates the knuckle mortise automatically. The spacer is 1 and 9 16 inches long and it goes on the drop leaf side of the hinge template. With a 3 8 inch straight bit inside of a half inch outside diameter guide collar, I routed the hinge knuckle mortises 3 16 of an inch deep following the edge of the spacer and then squared up their ends. And 
Here's what these two-stage hinge mortises look like when they're done. At this point, go ahead and drill pilot holes with a VIX bit and mount the hinges with screws. Two screws per hinge is all you need for now. Now go ahead and rotate the drop leaves up and down. And don't be surprised at this stage if they bind a little bit. Mine do. But there's an easy fix for this back at the router table. Take the pilot bearing off of the cove bit you used for routing the drop leaf side of the rule joints. Set the bit to the same height you used for routing the original coves, but this time reset the router table fence to expose just slightly more of the bit than before. You can do that without the pilot bearing in place. Then run each drop leaf across the router table again one more time to shave the cove profiles a little bit wider. Now rehang the drop leaves so you can check their action again. It should improve. It has for me. And if it does, go ahead and install all the screws. But if the drop leaves still bind and make noise, tap the fence back a little bit more and rerun the coves to shave off a little bit more material. And try again. You'll probably get it just right on the second try. And that wraps up the method I used for installing these drop leaf hinges. I'm sure there are several different ways to do this, but the routing template worked well for me, and I hope it works well for you too. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and thanks for watching.